camera on? Yes. Hello there, patrons. Um, sorry, it's been a couple of months since I've been able to uh, get anything up onto Patreon, but uh, here we go. Um, I've been at my workshop today, um, actually doing a bit of weight training, as you can you can see. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, I use these uh, weights. Uh, someone bought them. I think my wife bought them about 20 years ago. Um, thought they might do me a bit of good, but of course they did. I, th I find them very handy for doing sort of uh, this sort of work, especially when your cramp, your clamps don't reach, you know, sort of over far enough. You know, unless I use G clamps. But uh, uh, this is a piece of work that I'm, I'm getting ready. Um, to, to video uh, for this weekend actually and uh, I'm doing a bit of uh, bit of maintenance work up here as well so I thought I would uh, grab the camera and uh, say hi to you guys um, something you'll you'll probably notice in uh, if you if you go onto my uh, home page of my YouTube channel that I've um, I've gone over 250,000 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, I'm sort of well pleased about that, and uh, I've, I never ever thought that was going to happen, but uh, there it is. But uh, there's some unfortunate things too. Um, no doubt you've all heard of uh, Carpa which is the Online Protection for Children Act. <coughs> uh, I think, now I'm all for protecting children. And I dearly would have liked this, uh, pro this channel to be open for children and, you know, any age group really. And I, I thought I was making videos for that. Uh, but you will notice as well that um, I've had to set my channel uh, for, you know, the viewing audience over, uh, over, well, 13, 13 to, to 18, you know, because um, what uh, Google, oh, YouTube, informed me that um, if I put it as, uh, as, you know, for children to, to watch it, um, the ad revenue would completely disappear, or at least about 85% of it. And, uh, you know, I mean, I don't think anybody on YouTube that's doing this seriously uh, can afford for that to happen. So I've had to mark all my videos for uh, over 13s, which is, you know, disappointment really. But there you go. Um, yeah, enough on that. Um, I'm also up here too. Um, uh, where is it? Over here. I'm uh, sort of doing, I, I do a lot of background test work um, for my videos. Uh, now, this is, this is another one that I'm. I'm doing you see that okay so what I'm actually doing is testing as the word says um, to see the the best settings for my 100 watt laser to messages coming in now too um, you know the, because every piece of material is different when you're talking about lasers etching or engraving or whatever you're doing and um, of course, you know, sort of uh, off camera, I sort of do a lot of experimentation with with whatever I do, and um, you know, to get it right. And even even after that, you know, I uh, I, I do make some mistakes, and, and th sometimes things don't turn out quite quite the way that you uh, would want them, you know. But I publish it because, you know, in your own workshop, you know, it, it, you know, if you, I take it you guys all have uh, some sort of work area, but as you will know, no matter what you do, <laughs> invariably something or you know sometimes goes wrong, 
and you know you um, got to start again or whatever anyway I publish it basically um, you know whatever mishaps I have or mistakes I make because if I make them maybe I can sort of prevent other people making them so uh, yeah one classic well thing that happened to me um, just before Christmas actually I think I might have mentioned about last September or something like that to you guys that I was going to put the drawings up for the mini mill conversion the little SIG mini mill to CNC and uh, I intended to do that and um, cutting a long story short last year one of my mainframe computers uh, down in the office actually um, decided to um, well the hard drive went and I thought that I'd had it I thought I'd had it had it on automatic backup well it didn't <laughs> so I lost I, I lost video that I'd taken um, and I'd, I'd lost drawings the whole she shebang for about uh, probably 12 months work so uh, Anyway, that's my fault, you know, sort of being too busy and whatever. Um, so for me to actually get, draw that up again, I'm going to have to completely dismantle it. Um, and I do promise you, when I have the time this year, I will do it. I will dismantle the whole thing, measure it all up, and uh, I'll, I'll do the drawings again, and I will put them up there. Um, so, there's that. What else is there? My wife Maria's just brought me in a cup of coffee, so... Excuse me. Actually, I do plan to uh, g give you guys, and this will only be available on Patreon for all my patrons to see. Now, not just the... Uh, the ten dollar guys but even the two dollar guys I'm gonna make a couple of videos and I please I want you to tell me whether you know you sort of like them or you don't or whatever um, you know I'm I'm sort of I'm 65 now and uh, I've been an inventor for an engineer and inventor but an inventor sort of full-time since uh, 1993 and uh, of course during that time some unbelievable things have happened um, you know I mean and I'm gonna tell you about one of them now it's, it's quite funny but uh, it's uh, quite serious as well um, and you know as the weeks go on now I, I sort of do plan to give you just one a week something like that if I can fit it in with everything else and everything else that I'm doing um, indeed a lot of our friends here in Tasmania lived in Tasmania for 20 years has um, sort of uh, well they're trying to encourage me to write a book but uh, I don't know what do you guys think um, anyway so the next video will be me describing um, one of the events that have happened to me um, actually about uh, developing a hydrogen system for a car my own personal car at the time so uh, I hope you enjoy them and uh, well this will do for now so, uh, bye for now.